Oh, hello there, Race. I've been too busy thanking the bus driver since we last saw each other. It's so addicting, I tell you. What's even more addicting is collecting all of those beautiful skins. Wait, what is that skin? The Galaxy skin? And you need to buy the latest Samsung phone to get it? <sighs> well, if I can't have it, at least I can try to break down the effect and get my quick dose of dopamine that way instead. A small disclaimer before we start. I don't actually own the skin myself, so doing research for this video was in some aspects limited. The first thing you notice about the skin is that it behaves in a very unorthodox and strange way for most shaders. It reminded me of that style a lot of cartoon users call the unmoving blade. And it's probably being an example. He's looking at you, Rolf! Later! All for nothing, huh? Or the sheets he needs to be. But if you zoom in and ignore everything else. Oh. It looks just like a skybox inside of him. So a cube map. It's basically a cube map. A cube map is a texture from an unwrapped cube. Instead of fetching the texels from a 2D UV coordinate, we use a three-dimensional view direction from the center of the cube. I've divided the skin effects into two parts, the shader and the particle systems. We'll create a nebula cube map for our base layer. The second layer will contain some stars and add a continuous offset to our view direction making our stars move. You can download my textures in the description. And lastly, we add a Fresnel effect to make the edges glow. For the particle systems, we add a blue halo and some blue squares fitting in and out of existence. When you import cube maps into Unity, you need to change the shape to cube and its respective type. If you download my textures, you see that they're not a correct cube map. Well, because I was lazy, but they work anyway. Create a new PBR shader graph and begin adding two variables of the type cube map. For the base layer, add a sample cube map node and make sure the view direction is set to world. We also need to change the normal to a constant value, otherwise the default, which is the mesh as normal, will be used. It will look like this. A constant value will create the flat look that we want, independent of the surface normal. The second layer is exactly the same, except that we sample the star cube map instead. Then we add the layers together. There are many ways to make the second layer rotate. I show you my special way of doing it. Add a time node and multiply it by 0.04, which we then take the sign off. Create a new vector free and use the sign value for the x and y axis and then normalize it. Add the normalized value with the world space view direction and normalize it again to make sure the length is 1. This is now our new view direction. To make the outline, we add a built-in Fresnel effect, set the power constant, I like the value 4, so I'm going to use that. We then multiply this value to thicken the edges, and then we combine it with our layers. Plug the result into our beta channel, but also in the emission channel, to make everything more colorful and bright. That's it for the shader, now we can add the particle systems. Create a new particle system, and make the colors random between your favorite blue shades. Set the emission rate to 0, but add a burst of particles. I use one particle every 100 milliseconds, 10 times. Change the shape to a cone and lower its thickness. Then finish by replacing the texture with a square. Create another particle system and make this one blue as well. Set the emission rate to zero and add a burst of a single particle. Set the shape to a small rectangle so that the particle always spawn in the right direction. To make the particles go in a circle, increase the orbital x under velocity over lifetime. Add an alpha fade under color over lifetime. Then activate the cool trail and adjust its width and color of the trail to your liking. Don't forget to set the trail material, the default will work just fine. Place the halo around the head bone and the square around the spine bone. There you have it. Now you can enjoy this beautiful skin that the awesome people at Epic Games came up with. And maybe add something unique to it yourself. I have now made two Fortnite lists recreate in a row. So next time I hope I can show you something cool from another game. No promises though. Thanks for watching.